Hiya guys, it's Waz with a Looted Rhino. But this one you've seen before. Um, so this is from thegreenone.com, but I've managed now to complete it. This is this model is now complete. Um, so you can get this model from thegreenone.com, but not obviously the Rhino. You have to buy the Rhino separately from somewhere else. Um, there's lots of good retailers out there. Um, so yeah, <laughs> uh, so why am I showing you this model then? Well, because I've all I'm not I'm not a massive Space Marine fan, but however I do love Space Marine models, and I love the Rhino. I remember the old Rhino when that first came out, and it was like ooh, and then they brought out the new Rhino, which is this mo this Rhino, and it was like ooh, and now obviously when Forge World did their um, their, their, their looted vehicle thing it was amazing and I've to this day I regret never getting one and keeping hold of it because it, I absolutely loved that Rhino that um, Forge World did the Orc, Orc version and then obviously Trevor has made this one which is very very similar to the Forge World one um, and you get lots and lots of different bits and pieces with this Rhino kit you just go look at the website and you'll you'll see what kit you get with it and um it's it's a fantastic model on his model uh all these open so you can have have it up with the hatches open the back doors open um it, it's it's really 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 good so he he's done a fantastic job of of um of this of this kit so what have i added to this kit then well to be honest with you i've not added a great deal the only thing i did add was these guns at the front the twin the twin link shooters um and that's all i added to this kit and the rest of it is all trevor's work and it's and it's fantastic and these rollers are just simply brilliant they're they you can get again you can get these on uh, the green one as well and a from what someone was telling me on my um, on the YouTube channel, the rollers are now back to being all right again in the rules. So it's a perfect opportunity to buy uh, to go buy some rollers off the trip. But however, unfortunately, I don't think you can use them in in games workshop shops when you play at there. But you know, you you will all be playing at games workshop shops soon anyway because they they'll be a thing of the past. You'll uh, you'll be going to societies and stuff. So what have I done then with this? Well. I've just I've just added uh, magnets to this, so I drilled a, a small hole, pilot hole in here, and then with the size of the magnet I was using, I measured it against the drill bit, and then drilled a bigger hole, and and same with this part here. I mean, you can get away with some strong magnets and smaller ones because the magnets I've used on this only just fit this this area here. Um, I mean, you can see the just see the size of the magnet there. So again, metal to resin, super glue to stick them in. Just put a little tiny bit of super glue inside here. Make sure it's covered round. Get a, uh, a stick or something. Put it. Put the super glue on the stick. So on on the on something that you're not bothered about. Rub the stick in it. Rub rub it round inside the hole, and then you get your uh, magnet. Stick it inside and push it flat. And um, what I normally do is I've got an old working board um chopping board and that and i push it down as hard as i can so it's flat because what you don't want to do is um file it and rub it because what happens then is you demagnetize the magnet if you didn't know um i only found that out a couple of days ago when i was watching someone else um doing some conversions on youtube and he was he had a, he was having problems fitting magnets i think it was a, a one of them massive titans um because i was doing some research and uh he would sell it he was talking about um the magnets he was using they were really really good grade quality magnets um but when he got it in it was when he stuck it in um, one of the areas it was it was sticking out far too much so he got his file and he filed down one of the magnets and then it just lost its magnetity magnetity magnetic or whatever it's called anyway and uh it it was no longer magnetic so so yeah um right so let's have a look oh yeah 
I mean, I've shown you this model before, guys. You can see the orc inside there. Perhaps, see if I can... Yeah. So it's got... It's all internals. It's done all the internals in there. It's brilliant. It's, I, I absolutely love this model. I think it's good. I think it's a really, really good model. Um, and now, for me, it's complete. Because I finally finished it. Uh, I could, I'm being lazy as well, because obviously you've seen the dirt I've, I've put on here, and I could have a dirty this bit up here, right, but I'm just being lazy and I'm, and I'm not bothered. I'm not going to war game this model anyway, because I, like you lot know, I don't play the game. However, at the, on the sun, the last Sunday in October, I'm off to Warhammer World, and, um, it's going to be the first time for me going there, I, I cannot wait. Um, I'm only going there to look at models. I'm not going there to play, but um, I'm pretty sure K, one of my friends on um, on my orc, one, one of my orc friends. She's not an orc, but you know, uh, I'm sure she's going to twist my arm and get me rolling some dice. Um, so we'll see. So and and last Sunday in October, so that's October, and we're off. We're off to Warhammer World. We've got um, there's a there's a load of us going actually. So if you're interested. Message me on um, on Facebook, and I will try and get you added to um, to the group, and then you can uh, you can check your name and come along. So maybe meet me, shake my hand, and say, "Waz, you're awesome!" And yeah, I'll buy you an ice cream. Right. So that's it. I've got another video to do because I've just done something else that's really cool. Um, but yeah, I, I think this model's absolutely fantastic, and and if you don't own one, you should go and own one because, like I said, I'm not I'm not even orc player. I'm not I'm not even a, a collector of models as such. I just love building them. If you haven't got one of these in your collection, then you, you, you're mad. You, you need you definitely need one of these in your collection because they're just brilliant. They really are. Trevor's done an absolutely fantastic job. And I've done a really good job on the guns as well. I think the guns just set it off really well. So, Right, that's it guys. Um, I shall go make another video. And so you get two uploads today. What's going on? You're getting treated, you lot. Right, speak to you later guys.